cool, cool. Right. Let me quickly add some bits and pieces. Oh, so it's not working, is it? And that should do it, I hope. So we'll click that link, it opens YouTube. Can't load link. You're joking. Copy link. Uh, tweeting out stuff's the worst. Live a warm up to my GDL game. Paste. It's the same link though. I don't know. Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go. All over the place in a minute. Jeez. Oh well. Oh, just put this arm warm. Oh, It's my first live stream in ages. Ages, 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 ages. Probably since the start of the year. I've done one on New Year's Day, that's the last one I remember doing. Tired, how's it going, mate? All good. Just, uh, well, the guy asked if we could start at 6.30, and I said I couldn't, and I said, can we start at 7? He said, sorry, got to put the kids to bed, we'll start at half 7, so I thought, I'll quickly have a game, or have a warm-up, and then uh, I might stream the game, possibly, I don't know. Charlie, how's it going? I know uh, Dynamite Day is streaming at the minute, and uh, I actually forgot he was streaming, otherwise I probably wouldn't, wouldn't have bothered, but I thought I'd do one anyway and see what people say, because I, I was going to stream the other day and completely forgot that uh, Ross streams on Fridays, so I didn't bother. Should stream the game, did you? Would you have his board as well? I don't know how we're playing it yet. I don't know if we're playing it on NACA or if we're playing it through Messenger. Because if we're playing it through Messenger, I won't be able to. 
But then also, if we do play through Naphore like Darts, it also means I've got to try and set it all up before we actually start playing, which is a hassle. And I haven't done very well in the qualifiers so far, so I kind of want to be concentrating as best I can. I have recorded all my games, but I just never put them out because nothing interesting happens. Yesterday I won, what was it like? Five, I won 5 1 yesterday. And I averaged 53, which is terrible. Ugh. You ever like just go out the shower and then you try and throw darts and it feels weird because you've just got out the shower? That's how I feel at the minute. This could be my last game with these 22 grams. I've uh, bought some 24 gram Dragonfly 3s off a Scottish lad because he, he reviewed the 24 gram version and I wanted to try the heavier version so I bought them off him. If you do knacker with a webcam can you just drop it? Yeah, so if I do, if we do NACA with webcam, all you can do, all you have to do is pull NACA in uh, to your OBS, and then crop his screen and stretch it out so it covers both boards, and then just do it again, a separate one for the scoreboard. But like I said, it takes a couple of minutes to set up, and you've got to wait for him to get into the game first. I would if I could oh, I can't and I'll just drink it oh dear it's all gone wrong look at that look at all the stickers around there got the Matador Dart stickers we've got uh, Dan Dart stickers we've got GDL sticker we've got England Dart stickers we've got a Love Dart sticker at the top uh, and bottom and some red dragon stickers as well. If we can uh, just adjust that. There you go. Love darts, love darts. Thought I'd just showcase some of the stickers. Uh, stretch them out a little bit more. Boom. There we go. Let's uh, move it up a touch. I really don't like how it is like that. There we go. All good. All right, uh, let's get the chat back up. There we go. Chat's back. Ugh. That first one was me and I for Trevor 20, by the way. Terrible. You know when you uh, like sharpen a dart, but you get it stuck in like the tape that holds the size all together. And it feels weird on your finger. I've got that one of these darts at the minute. It's really annoying me because the feel of it gives me like the goosebumps. It's horrible. The thing, thing I've noticed in, uh, in GDL though is a lot of people play through Messenger, which is fine, but like NACA, you can play NACA on just your phone. Just set your phone up to point at your board and you just type the scores on your phone. I 
I've also put the Harrow's board back up, uh, just because I felt like it really. I've got three boards, I've got the Harrow's, Pro Match Play, I've got the 180 Gladiator 2, and I've got the Mission Samurai. Some doubles, doubles in. Osti, how's it going? Oh, Osti fan, Osti man, sorry. When I say warm up, I never practice properly, I just like throw at the ball. Shocking on the double sixteen. I need to keep an eye on my phone as well. Because uh my opponent could like message me at, like five past seven and say he's ready. When I'm expected to play half seven. Where is the dog parking? All good, thanks. How have you been? Uh yeah, alright. I'll just uh like I say always doing uni work. I mean, I'm not doing any work, I'm, I don't want to do anything else, which is the problem. I uh, went on a sort of longish walk today, like 5 miles, like 2.5 miles outwards and back. So, I set up some uh, trail cameras, so hopefully I can see some badges. If you don't know, I'm sort of like a wildlife photographer outside of... Uni and darts. Oh, she can't throw. But see, when I chuck a dart, like, it hits the triple. Trying to play my practice game where I hit two twenties and hit a double, but uh, I can't seem to throw straight at the minute. Ah. There we go. Oh, can't hit a double to save my life. Oh, <laughs> and a good one five two, isn't it? Not that I was actually going for one five two. There we go. There's a seventy two. Move on to double ten. That was easy. Move on to double eighteen. Oh, on the wire. What I have noticed since I've been practicing my doubles more. Is I'm not as far away as what I used to be. I wire a lot of shots now, which is good and bad. I mean, if you wire one, at least it's a marker. But also, you want to be hitting them. Two straight ones, good switch though. My switching's got a lot better as well since playing this sort of practice game. Ooh. 54. Oh, that's 
that? I don't know, it's that second dot. I'll stick it weird, I don't like it. Let me um I just went really unhygienic there, so I did it off camera, so you didn't have to see it. First switch was good, second one, uh, not so much. <sighs> Release that way late. Way too late. How's everyone's weekend's been then? What you been doing? Uh, you can't really do a lot at the minute, but. Ah, come on. So what it is. When I go on for double 18, I sort of snatch it and let go really late. I let go up there, which means I've lost my momentum. Just wanna. That was no follow through at all. I do that sometimes though. Sometimes my technique goes out the window and I sort of do a weird like. I do like that. I do like a weird flick. Seems to work. Yeah, you know, I sort of stop like there. I throw like a, so I do a half follow through, but I flick my wrist. So if I flick my wrist, it stops me doing my follow through. Because really, you want to be that and not that. Because if you move your wrist, it stops your follow through. That's what I've noticed anyway. Because where I bend my wrist back, like that. If my wrist goes too far forwards too quick, I'll stop and do that. Obviously, I'll let go of the dart, but I'll stop and do that because my wrist doesn't let me follow through anymore. So I don't want to go like that, I just want to do that. Now my arm aches <laughs> from holding my arm up too long. Ugh. Because, yeah, a lot of people have, like, follow-through issues. You'll see people on Facebook and stuff do, like, that. You'll see people, like, just sort of flick their wrist. Now, the problem is, I wouldn't recommend it because, obviously, you mess your technique up. But you never see any professional dance players... When they let go of the dart, flick their wrist before the follow through, it's always out, and then they might flick their wrist after they've come down. Because if you do that, like I say, it stops your follow through, it changes the way your muscles are in your arm, and you physically just can't do that. So, yeah, when people say, oh, just follow through, they can't do it. The first point of call is to not move your wrist and try to follow through. You can do like pull your wrist away, just don't flick it. If you flick your wrist, your dart's all over the place. Some would say I have one of the best techniques and I still can't throw a dart straight, so don't know what I'm talking about. E. Uh, double twelve now. Oh, close.
just starting to see what game you're playing. Uh, so, it's a game I made up myself. It's, well, it's a sort of a combination uh, of a game that I've seen on YouTube uh, from the Darts Ref and England Dart Review. So the idea is, it's on my channel if you look, uh, you'll hit two 20s. And then you just go for a double of your choice. So I started with 16, I hit 16, and then I've done two 20s and 10, I've done two 20s and 18s. Now I'm doing two 20s and 12. If you miss one, you just switch for treble 19. Or if you missed your first one, you try to do treble 19. So it just works on your switching, basically. And it also works on your du doubles under pressure. So it doesn't really have a name. I know like the original game is where you go 20, 20, double one, 20, 20, double two, 20, 20, double three, and so on. I think it's called Frustration. So this is like an adapted version, I guess. B. All right, we're gonna go for uh, the top now. Shocking. Oh. So close. See, before, my darts would be like up here, and down here, and all over the place. But now they're going a bit closer to the wire, which is good. Oh, it's terrible. Just above again. Pretty much in the same hole I left last time. Oh. Don't go too late. That's terrible. Still got an issue where right? I hit darts really low, which is a bit annoying, but I'm trying to solve it. Good switches, good switches. And that's where that game, this game's got me. I'm so much better at switching on 19s now. Says. But before when I used to switch on 19s I'd pull them so I'd come like down into the double sometimes I'd miss the board because I'd, I'd misjudge how far I got to go have you ever closed 170? I have um, not on video and not in a proper game but I've done it in a game against the computer Oh. I had in the same week I checked out, uh, like literally in the space of like three or four days, I checked out 170, 150, 160. So that was pretty cool. This game you could go for 170 if you wanted to. You could finish on the bullseye if you want to go 220s. So I'll probably do that next. Once I eventually hit double top, smells onions. That's what I used to do on switches. 
pull it low. There we go. Right, I'll move on to Bullseye now. So you've hit 2020 Bullseye. Classic 90 finish if your opponent's on a finish. Instead of going tri uh, triple 18, double 18, you'll go 2020 20 Bullseye. If your opponent's usually sitting on a double or on a decent finish. Nah, second one was high. I know you just started playing again and I got and I just started playing again and got a 112. I know it's not the best, but I think it's quite good. Yeah, sometimes you just have moments like I'm not a professional player by any means, but sometimes they just go for you. Especially if you hit that first treble. Any number like that, that 112, anywhere from like 101 to 119 if you hit that treble 20 more than capable of um, checking out like for me I'm a pretty decent 20s hitter so it always gives me a chance if I'm on a good finish especially if I'm on like a 144 where you need two treble 20s for a double 12 which I have taken out in a GDL game before Say so 112. I'm guessing you went treble 2012, double top, or maybe 20, treble 20, double 16. Depends really what way. Obviously, if you hit the first one, there we go. There's a 130. Right, um, what we move on to now. No, we'll make our way back round. We'll go eight, four, two, and one now. Ooh, right in the zero of the harrows. Oh. Let me talk about my 19 which has got better and I've gone low and hit a double twice. New board. No, I've had this board oh, uh, since the summer. I've just sort of been rotating it in and out. My uh, Gladiator 2 was taking a bit of a beating, so I thought I'd give it a rest. And my Samurai is a uh, major match. So, yeah, mine's at half seven as well. Well, it should be. There we go. It's double eight. Also, I'm doing an experiment with this ball because I know this ball. I don't know if you can really see. I might have to bring the webcam closer if possible. I'll try it. I don't know if you can see. Uh. Not really. This board uh, wears like really strange. So, uh, like you'll literally hit a dart in a place for a first time and you take it out and it leaves a hole. But, um, when I throw, I focus on the holes. I focus on the holes, it gets me a bit of a better aim. I played a guy the other day who had like, you know when people put like dots in the trebles and stuff and doubles to concentrate? I played a guy the other day and had, he had that. I took a screenshot and I was going to send it to uh, Lisi because I don't know if you should really be allowed to do that. I know like some people that only have one board at home and it's a practice board, but you shouldn't really be allowed to play competitive games with dots on your board to help you focus. I mean, I still beat the guy, so it didn't matter. But... It's very strange. 
Uh, what's the best board in your opinion? Um, for me personally, uh, the 180 Gladiator Plus series, so either the 2 Plus or the 3 Plus. I think probably the best, you're looking at probably the best wearing board on the market, most likely. In my opinion anyway, from what I've seen and from what I've experienced. Um, the wiring system, I know people, the problem is a lot of people don't give 180 a chance because um, the original 3 board was different. They tried to do a system where the sizer was going to be softer and it wasn't as compacted. And they only connected the uh, wires uh, like very narrowly into the board and then they connected it deeper in around it. That just didn't work, the wires started coming out. Are you streaming when you play the match? Uh, probably. I'll just stick the scoreboard on the screen most likely. Which reminds me, I need to check my phone. What was I doing? Double four, wasn't it? Nah. Let's keep checking my phone and make sure the guy messaged me. Not liking this long hair, by the way. Gets in my eyes when I play. I'm also matching Mark from the other day wearing my Red Dragon shirt. I know who's wearing his. He normally wears his on stream. Also, I have to look down at my hockey because it's a laser hockey. If I'd have raised hockey, I don't have to put my head down and get my hair in my eyes. Ah. I bought Blade 5 because one eight later three plus was sold or more expensive. Also, the ratings were so bad sometimes. Yeah, see, the problem is a lot of people give 180 a load of bad rep because their original three boards were they were really good for a month or two and until the wires started falling out. And that's because they tried to do something different, which was they would, if you look at a picture of a 180 Gladiator 3, the original one, they have these little squares on just the outside of the board. I think there's like six of them. And what that was doing was trying to clamp them into the board without the inside wires being too deep. Because what happens is when the inside wires are embedded really deep, it compacts the sides all together. So what they tried to do was not embed it so much and clamp it around on the outside. Unfortunately, it didn't work and the wires start coming out. Will the GDL games be on their YouTube? Um, they stream every uh, Wednesday now, I think. Uh, my games won't be. I might volunteer to stream, but I think there's a lot of interest in it anyway, and I've got my own platform I can stream on. So, but then I'm not saying I'm the biggest YouTuber in the world, but there might be people who want to watch my games. So we'll see. But um, I'm meant to be making a video for the GDL channel, but um, I just haven't had time to make it. I was meant to make a recap for the uh, Q2, but. Problem is I've had no time to make it. I don't know how to make it because the tournament's so big. I think there's three grades and like nearly th like 100, 200 people in each grade. So you can't cover all the games. When are your games? Uh, I have one game. It should be a half seven. I'm just waiting for my opponent to message me because he says he put the kids to bed. So I've got a game at half seven in like seven minutes. Hopefully. In fact, I do have a message on Twitter, so. Thank you for the good luck. 
so hopefully we'll get going in a bit. In fact, what I will do is I'll load up Naka now. Um, I need this to pop out right, quick. Get rid of this. Dump this down here. Jump on the old Naka. N01, N01 online. It won't join just yet. All right now, good luck on your games. Thanks for all the answers. No worries. Thanks for joining. Right, you should be able to see this, the scoreboard at the bottom of the screen now, hopefully. Uh, once I'm in, you'll see them a bit better. Reflection there. Just hoping I uh, guess he wants to play his game on Messenger, so I obviously once I start um want to stop playing I won't be speaking to the chat because obviously I'll, the other guy can hear me I don't want to talk while he's throwing but I will um, give you my reactions to shots as I go you'll probably be able to tell my body language because I'm a very body language player get my head down too easy First to five, and I'm sure it's first to five. Yeah, because I'm five one yesterday. Yeah, it's first to five. Don't know when this guy's at first to four for him unless he's looking at the lower grade. Oh, that's so poor. I need to stop. I don't want to scream at my phone, I don't check that. Yeah, that's Problem I have is if I block myself off this way, so I go for double 16 and do that, and I can't see the bubble. I can't move across any further to the left because my bed's there. So I have to come across this way and not throw a diagonally across it. Like that. Ow! Walked into my desk. Oh, that fucking hurt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Not in the corner. God. Oh, Jesus. Channel two, Naka. Keep it to no password. Okay. People who don't put passwords on their knacker when they're playing an organised game, playing risky business, because they're uh, someone could join the game. Uh, 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 he must be down the bottom somewhere. There he is. He does have a webcam on.
apparently don't want to play with a webcam. So, Charlie, how's it going? I've joined and these things there, it has a webcam on it. Just point your camera at the ball, mate. Oh, I'll find this guy on Messenger now, and I. I don't know what can I find this Where to put it? There it is. I hope it isn't. Now I've got to find the guy on Facebook. On the Harrow's board, um, it's probably my least favorite board of the three I've got, but um, uh, at university we have like a, a catalog that we get a, a voucher for every year, like 400 pounds, and we could just like order what we want, and like the voucher will pay for it. And this board was like it's slightly inflated in price, this was like 45 quid instead of 39, but um. Or 50 including postage and like the options were this or like the unicorn this the unicorn striker which isn't a like, blade type wire board uh, and the unicorn HD2 which was like 80 quid on that website so just remember this for I try it out Um, yeah, I put this board up because uh, I'm testing out a little thing. Uh, you can't really see it, but um, basically, when you hit the board, it leaves a hole like, where the ink is, uh, and I'm going to test sort of the focus thing with that. There's loads with no Facebook there. There's no loads with no profile picture. That's what we just said. Let me quickly get this done. I'm going to finally get this set up in a minute. Unicorn just don't do it for me. I've never really used it. I've probably used the Unicorn board at like an actual game. But as I said, last time I played an actual game was over a year ago now, so. I used to have it, well, I used a Unicorn. I used to have a Unicorn Eclipse Pro. wouldn't they? Eclipse Pros. This is like the Eclipse Pro I'd say. Except probably a bit better wearing. There we go, I sent me a frame request, we finally got that confirmed.
Pony Clips Pro, and it's nothing on my Blade 5. I think Unicorn play a lot on the name, sometimes overpriced under 4. Yeah, last few years, uh, Unicorn haven't been too good. Although the Eclipse Pro is a very old board. Blade 5 only come out in like 2015, 2016, I think. But um, the Eclipse Pro came out years ago, like 2011, I think. Right, anyway, uh, I'm going to call this guy on Messenger, so I'm not going to be talking to the chat too much. But if you put something in the chat, make it a yes or no question. I'll put my thumb up or down. Alright mate. Yeah, that's fine, you're right, mine. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. Yeah, I'm ready. Outside. Nice one. Oh, that's really anyway. That's right. All the best, mate. One hundred. Oh, I've lost connection. I hope he actually saw that one hundred. I'll be fuming if he has. I am live streaming if he wants to watch that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That happens sometimes. I think it's just messaging not be very good. All right. That's all right. One hundred. Fifty nine. Eighty-three. <sighs>
21, 24, uh, 78, I think. Yeah, first start. Cheers. Sixty. Fifty nine, sixty. Forty one. Sixty. Sixty. Yeah, you don't. Sixty. 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 Forty seven. Sixty. 
60. Uh, 84. Fifty four. Yeah, first up. Sixty. Sixty. Forty-five. Ninety five. Forty five. Sixteen. Twenty. Uh, 
Uh, no score. Eighty five. Fifty five. Forty five. Forty four. Yeah, check out. Twenty seven. Twenty six. Cheers. One hundred.
60. Starts. Oh, drag that. That 88. Fifteen. There we go. Let myself down with the first two visits there. Forty one. He's knackered, isn't he, Jim? Milo, knackered. Come on, mate. Forty-five. Oh, Twenty-four. Sixty. Yeah, we'll play. Yeah, that's fine. Cheers. Yeah, well played. Cheers. No worries. That's all right. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. Yeah, all the best. Bye. What a heap of fucking shit that was. That was useless. Let's start, shall we? It's first to five, he's won it. He hasn't put in his final score though for some reason. He needs to put in his final score otherwise he won't be able to send them to the fucking people. 
See, I averaged 60. I averaged 60, and there were so many legs there, where I just kept throwing 60s. I didn't even hit a treble. But if you would have told me after yesterday, yesterday's game I averaged 53, by the way. If you would have told me yesterday, I would have hit 60, 60, 60, 59, 60. I'd have been like, oh, nice. But I can't hit a fucking treble. I can't hit a double either. That leg where I hit 180, 100, I just fucked. I had one eye check out and dragged it on the 20 and missed double 10 for 15. He checked out everything within the first three dots. I didn't look at his ball, his ball was miles away, but I couldn't like. I promise I hate being picky with people, like, making their board, like, putting their phone close to the board, like, because they'll be like, oh, I can't do it. It seemed honest enough, it was just he kept finishing everything. That's what killed me in that game. My scoring wasn't great either, especially in the last leg. And the first, like the legs he won, I just wasn't scoring well apart from that last one. Or well, the second to last one. So, like I said, he won that leg where I went to like 60, 60, 60, and he hit like two 140s. Like, I was so more, much more consistent because he hit two 140s. He won the leg. But do I like that dartboard? Uh, I wouldn't choose it if I was going to a shop, but I got it for free, so. I mean, it's not a bad board. I wouldn't like not recommend it. If someone said I bought a Harrow's Pro Match Player, I would be like, why have you gone and bought that? I'd be like, oh, fair enough. It's a good board, but probably not for the price. I would stick to. A 180 Gladiator 3 Plus or a Mission Samurai. Hey, do you want half a day? Do you want half a day? Yeah, I'll stay. Alright, anyway, that's me done. I just found a good room at the end of the legs. Yeah, I'll say I just checked everything out in the first few darts. But, anyway, uh, Ashley, do you have Twitter? Because it'll be easier to explain to you on there. Uh, my darts are Red Dragon Dragonfly 3, uh, 20, uh, 2 gram, but I'm going to get some 24 gram versions. They're just a pretty simple ring grip. I know it's out of focus, but you can kind of get the gist. It's just a ring grip. But it's a pretty grippy ring grip. It's not like aggressive. Just enough for me. I found no grip like it since, so. Like my perfect dart would be uh, 48 mil, 48 mil, which these are 6.4 mil wide, which these are not. These are 6.2, and probably 24 grams, which these are not. These are 22. So if I could have, I have a hybrid of the 24 grams and these, then I'd be in luck. And I asked custom made darts to replicate this grip, but they couldn't do it. They just stuck the rubber cross grip on it, unfortunately. Used to have a bit of Twitter not been on for long though, so I'll try and get on again and give you a follow. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. And also obviously uh, a lot of the people on GDL sort of use Twitter and stuff to contact people and that, so it's a good way of just sort of communicating with people. But anyway, I've got to go. Um yeah, actually my Twitter is usually somewhere it's on my channel somewhere or in one of the video descriptions so just check it out on there anyway thanks for watching guys thanks for the support on the game uh it that wasn't the best in fact i only show you the full stats i averaged 60 by the way look at that four ton pluses and one one eighty that's shocking for me i'm normally like
normally have at least sort of like nine or ten ton pluses overall. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you hopefully in the next video or stream, which will hopefully be.